Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com doing some Prism basketball. This is a three box. Pick your team break. Number nine. And it's from a fresh case, too. Big thanks to these folks right here on Wednesday the 13th. So, Victor Z, you have that little uh, thing next to your name, a carrot next to your name, a rooftop, because you got that spot in our latest spot random. So did Eric. And William, last spot mojo, OKC Thunder. We'll set that right here. Let's figure out which three boxes we're going to do. So they're already in stacks of three. See right here, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So what we're going to do is we're going to roll the die. And we'll just call the stack one, stack two, three, and then four right here. And whatever we get, that's the stack we'll do. And it's six. Roll again. Two, so stack two. What's well, one and that's two. So we'll slide these over. And we'll do these boxes next time. I'll set these over here. And those are uh, the rest of those stacks are already on the website, jazpiecehobbyland.com. So if you want to do some more prison basketball. If you want to pick your teams, that's the way to do it. All right, so we're looking for two autographs per box on average and a bunch of parallels, which, which could yield you more uh, value on a secondary market than some of the autographs, to be honest with you. That's, that's the value of the 17-18 set. Deep rookie class, which is great. And a lot of the rookies playing very well, which is also very good for, for you and I and the hobby. All right, so good luck, everybody. After this, we have a, um, this should only take like 15, 20 minutes. After this break is done, we have Court Kings basketball, very close to filling. There's only seven spots left in a four box random team break. One spot gets you two teams on jazbeeshobbyland.com. We can do one of those. That should definitely happen tonight. And then hopefully we can chip away at a uh, eight box break of, eight box break of uh, the brand new release, Totally Certified Basketball. That's also on jazbeeshobbyland.com. You can pick your teams there. That'll be a good break to do. So here comes box number one. Slide this around. Good luck, everybody. All right, so vet base like this will not ship, but obviously RC rookie cards will ship. Obviously all these inserts will ship too. These refractors will ship. And Sindarius Thornwell for the Clippers will ship. 108 out of 199. Nice one for William Fulmer. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if this parallel gets like half your spot back in this break. That's how great these uh, rookie parallels are doing on a secondary market. It's Markel Fultz, emergent for the 76ers. Not numbered, but this could probably get you five bucks. Jordan Hope. Maybe more. Marcin Gortat for the Wizards for Marty. 10 out of 75. This, will, this could get you a few bucks on a secondary market. There's Brandon Ingram. Not a rookie card, but he's been playing well. And Yogi Ferrell for the Mavs. Nice parallel here, too. 
Those will all be top loaded before they ship out to you. Yogi Ferrell is your autograph as well. Nice. He had a nice night the other night, I feel like. Dallas Mavericks. That'll go to Yesenia Lugo. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. There's Michael Carter-Williams, Silver Prism, Isaiah Thomas. Still in the Celtics gear, but Cavs edition. Tyler Lydon. Is that your other autograph? It is. Nice Tyler Lydon autograph for the Denver Nuggets. I feel like they were a late pickup. Vic with the Denver Nuggets. Not garbage, Joe P. A lot of value in this stuff. Just because Joe doesn't like it. Carmelo. Still a Knicks edition on that hyper refractor. Nice Jason Tatum. Rookie card. Jonathan Isaac. If those are silver parallels, I'd go for a lot. Buddy Heald. Derek White. Nice Derek White. Marcus Smart. Jonathan Isaac, Emergent. And Justin Patton for the Timberwolves. Cracked Ice. At a 99, nice one for Minnesota. Lee Cheeseman with that one. Andrew Wiggins, Draymond, Miles Turner, get hyped. Yep, this is the first box, Max. Dan Smith Jr., that, this card could probably get you five bucks. Dwayne Wade, Hassan Whiteside. Marcin Gortat. Yeah, it's a blue cracked ice from Prism. That'll probably get you, I don't know, probably five, ten bucks for that card. Mozgov, out of 199. Sundarius Thornwell. These are just regular rookie cards. They'll ship, though. The silver ones are the ones that will give you the big money. Damari Carroll out of 49 for the Nets. That'll go to Brooklyn. That'll go to Peter Eng. Yeah, Mozgov is not going to get you. Yeah, Mozgov might get you 50 cents. This is true. Josh Jackson. This card might give you get you five bucks. Couple coach cards, coach parallels here, and that was the first box. All right, box two. Not not a lot of products. Not I mean you could do you could do Prism football. A lot of those parallels aren't going to get you the kind of money that Prism basketball will get you on a secondary market. That's what makes this such a great set, Prism basketball. And it's a deep rookie class, like I said before. And thankfully, this rookie class has actually been, for the most part, have have been performing pretty decently. And even if they haven't, as long as they're like a top draft pick, they'll still hold that value. Season's far from over. Yeah, even guys like even second rounders like like Sindarius Thornwell, you know, have been emerging for the Clippers. Clippers have had a ton of injuries too, and with that, with that emergence, you know, that has really significantly increased Sindarius Thornwell's uh, stock on a secondary market like eBay. So it's crazy how quickly values can increase and change for, for basketball. That's why the 17-18 class is going to be huge. And you're going to see jazbeeshobbyland.com do a lot of basketball. We've got Court Kings close to filling up, as well as a brand new release. Totally certified close as well. Nice. Emergent Jason Tatum. 
Mike Conley for the Grizzlies out of 99. John Stockton Fundamentals. Nice Jason Tatum rookie card. The silver rookies are the ones we're looking for. Emergent Terrence Ferguson. Those silvers can go for a couple hundred bucks for Jason Tatum. Quinn Snyder, Kawhi Leonard. Damian Dotson for the Knicks. I'm not sure what this will go for, but the silver parallels, silver prism parallels are not numbered, but I know for certain rookies they could go for a lot. A.V. Bradley, Pistons edition, out of 199. Caleb Swanigan. Kyle Kuzma has been playing excellent. Trevor Ariza and David Fisdale, who is, I believe, was unceremoniously let go a couple weeks ago, right? I don't think Fisdale is coaching Memphis anymore. Take that for data. It's Kyrie Fundamentals, Wilson Chandler, and Nicola Batum. Not seen her autograph yet, right? No, I don't think we've seen her autograph yet. Maybe, maybe on this side. There it is. Ani Ogbu. Or Ani Bogu. For the Pacers, rookie auto. And that'll go to Landon. Nice. Cinderius Thornwell. So, this is what I'm talking about. Cinderius Thornwell. Uh, silver. I believe the value on these are, are going up as we speak. That's a big one for the Clippers anyway. Nice Justin Jackson. Hyper as well. And Zach Levine for the Bulls. Mojo. Mike Muscala, Carmelo Anthony, Nikola Jokic, Danny Green, Silver, Anus Cantor, out of 199. And Zach Collins. Nice Zach Collins. Rookie auto for the Portland Trailblazers. Tice. A nice one for Tice. That is strong. This is strong too. That Josh Jackson right here. Thirty-four out of forty-nine. Like what could? What does that Josh Jackson go for out of forty-nine? Like I'm just curious now. So that Josh Jackson out of forty-nine. 150 bucks. Someone bought it now for 150 bucks on the 12th. See? So there he goes. So Phoenix Suns, EA Sports in the game, just sold for $150 on the 12th. I'm not kidding, folks. This, the, all these Prism teams were just sitting there. Sums only cost him $34. That's it. Someone did a buy it now early in December. This is when it first came out, I think. And there's a second one that's on the site or on eBay that went for 150 bucks again. So there's one out of 49 that was a buy it now at 330. They accepted 150 bucks, and then there's another one that sold on the 12th that's 150 bucks. What about this one? Someone had $300 as a buy it now on that. Just looking it up right now. This is just to give you guys an idea of what this is going to Another 150 bucks. So it goes, this goes for 150 pretty regularly. 
So, I mean, give or take, obviously, uh, depending on your eBay account and, you know, supply, demand, and all that. But that gives you a good idea of what this stuff goes for. And this is this applies to, you know, this is pretty similar for the uh, for Court Kings. It's pretty similar for it's totally certified and for a lot of the 17, 18 basketball product that we'll have throughout the year. So when I'm, when I'm trying to trying to sell you on all that, uh, on buying into the prism, this is the stuff that I'm talking about. Like, no, there's it's no joke on this stuff. No joke at all. Mr. Diecast, what's going on? Yeah, and those thorn wells that William Fulmer got, that'll those will add up too. I mean, your spot's probably paid for, William, with that silver parallel and maybe a couple of the other ones. I mean, that that probably has paid for your spot and then some. But I, everyone's sleeping on this basketball. Don't sleep on the basketball, folks, especially the 17-18 class. Do not sleep on it because it's not just about getting autos or hits just like a lot of other products you know parallels could get you could yield big results go look at a prism football break how many how many out of 49s in prism football can get you 150 bucks not a lot Lonzo's a bust though are you, are you are you a Max? Are you a scout? Are you a basketball scout? After what? Thirty games? He's done after thirty games. Finished. He's a bust, says Max. I don't know. I'll, I'll give him the entire season before I say anything like that. Hey, guess what? If you get a if you get one of these Lonzo Ball Silver Prism cards, they'll still go for two hundred bucks. Non-numbered refractor still go for 150, 200 bucks. Not a bus in the hobby yet. Markel Fultz emergent. Jason Smith for the Wizards. Out of 99. What did you what did you expect him to do? I did not expect him to if you expected him to score like 20 points a night. I know you're a big Lakers fan, Max, but I certainly did not expect him to score like 20 points a night. That's not that was certainly not my expectation of him. I expected 12 10 12 points a night and a ton of assists. But look at look at his shot, you know? Like he's not he, he wasn't going to put up numbers against the pros. There's Anu Obi. For the Raptors, that's a good one. Toronto, that'll be for Jeff Goldenthal. There you go, Jeff. Yeah, exactly. Nine, seven, and seven. I'll take any and couple steals a night too. Couple steals a night. Oh, nice, Mister. It has been a year already. Jeez. It's just a regular Josh Jackson. That might still go for a couple bucks too. Uh, there's George Hill. Uh, 75. No, yeah. I, I don't think he was going to be one of those rookies that was just going to come out and start scoring like a million points a game. But uh, you know what? I have not, I've honestly not seen Tatum enough, but I know he's putting up numbers. Dennis Smith Jr. is putting up numbers. But I don't think the Lakers drafted him to be a Dennis Smith Jr., you know, to score like 20 points a night. I know everyone thinks that guards should do that, but... I don't know if that was really Lonzo's game. Look at how he played in college. You know, we want him for court vision, for rebounding, for, you know, for court vision, distribution, assists. I'll leave it to KCP to score. You know, I'll leave it to, uh, I'll leave it to Ingram. Brandon Ingram's in scoring. I like his development. I want him to score. I don't know. That's how I feel. I know, I think, I know a lot of people definitely had different expectations of Lonzo Ball in terms of his scoring ability. So I get it. Oh, nice Jason Tatum. Celtics, that goes to Jameson. Out of 199, right? So, just for the sake of argument, since we have time. Tatum to 199. 
That's a $200 card right there. I've seen one sold on the 6th for $200.99. $200 I, I see one sold on the 13th for $179.99. Buy it now. Someone else posted a buy it now on the 2nd of December, $165. Another buy it now out of uh, on the 9th, $159.99. Another buy it now, or no, open auction on the 7th, $152.50. So there you go. So 150 to 200 bucks. There was one that sold, the most recent one was the 13, that was the 179.99. So 150 to 200 bucks, easy. How many cards do you know that are out of 199 that'll go for 150 to 200 bucks? I'm not even lying. Go to eBay. Look it up. No joke. And that's it's not just something that it's not like it just happened once. It's like multiple times. Jameer Nelson to 199. Get into the basketball, folks. We got plenty of prism. We got court kings. We got totally certified. Like that's how big these uh, these rookies have been. Dan Smith Jr. Emergent. There are parallels of those Emergent cards that'll go for a lot too. Like even this Jason Tatum card probably goes for a couple bucks. Those will ship, of course. CJ McCollum, another Trailblazer autograph. Nice, Tice with that one. Uh, Adam's asking, Joe, let me ask you this then. Would you stick with Lonzo at, at two or go Tatum or Fox or someone else? That is a good question. I I don't think, I honestly, the, the I know this might be I'm not really trying to evade the question, but I have to say that I don't care in the sense that, in the sense that I think the Lakers were so bad, <laughs> you know, um, and that's it for the break, folks. Let me finish my thought. In the sense that the Lakers were just so bad that I feel like if it's Lonzo, okay, we can build around Lonzo. If it's Tatum or De'Aaron Fox or whoever, yeah, or Fultz or whatever, we can build around them too. You know, like, I think the Lakers were just so bad that we, they just needed any kind of young talent to be up there. I don't think they could be too choosy about it because any one of those players they could have used uh, and they can't use to, to build a young core around them. That's just how bad the Lakers are now. At that point, it's just up to the the front office to see whether they want, you know, a guy like Lonzo. I'm sure they did all their legwork, you know. Um, me, for personal preference purposes, it doesn't honestly, it doesn't really matter because the Lakers are just so bad. But this break was very good, ladies and gentlemen. Prism number nine from a fresh case. We did a three box pick your team. There's more on Jaspi's Hobbyland. There's the link right there. There it is, JaspiesHobbyland.com, right there. Go visit the site. Go pick your teams. Get into the basketball, and let's get a lot of uh, let's let's make a lot of money, folks. That's what we should do. And pull some nice hits for your personal collections too. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye, bye.